Hello everyone, I'm making a little video today. I've had some issues with the computer, but I still made a demo for you to learn a bit more about vectors. You'll have to look at the code. It's a car steering demo. And if you head to the car script, you will see an example of steering used in practice. So it applies to vehicles very well as the verb used to describe these behaviors suggests. And steering itself mostly boils down to vector arithmetics. You get it with a difference, so it's quite easy to grasp. The final game looks like that. You even have the vectors drawing on screen, and sorry for the choppy recording, you can toggle the vectors on and off. So I've provided this example with some kind of script to visually debug how the steering vectors are working. And you can see how the vectors react to the player's input. The green one is the desired velocity. That's where the player wants to go. The pink one is the steering vector. It's the force that's pulling the car. And the yellow one is the actual velocity, how much you are moving per frame. So the vectors are scaled, obviously, so you can read them well on the screen. It's not moving uh, that much. If we check the movement visualizer script, uh, it just uses the drawing functions from Godot and there's a special draw vector method that creates um, a line and a triangle to draw a vector. It's something I'm working on for the course because I'd like to have more visual feedback in the videos moving forward. Take this code example a bit like the tool that was released last week. It's a code sample that you can grab using your game that you can learn from and uh, that I'll improve over time as well based on your feedback. Thank you kindly for watching and see you in the next one.